it's me DIY by Rufa. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna share how to make this lovely matching set dress from an apron. But before that, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss out to a new video and also follow me on my Instagram account at DIY by Rufa. So this is the before look. It is actually an apron wrap dress. Thanks to my mom, she actually gave me this one and requested me to DIY it. So I ended up transforming it into this lovely matching set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's get started. After fitting and marking the idea line for the top and skirt, I will start cutting the fabric. As you can see, I cut the front and back separately because I want to follow the horizontal line from the print, but you can also cut it at the same time. Then I decided to work first on the skirt. I wanted it to be high waist to create a whole dress illusion together with the top, yet it is a matching set. This is the front part of the skirt, which originally has its own pockets. I will trim this bottom side and I will use this for the ruffle later. Then I will go on shaping the skirt. So always make sure to fit it and mark the target markings for the whole measurement of your own size. Or you can also use your favorite skirt as your pattern, which I highly suggest. For this pattern, I use my favorite skirt, that's why I trim it again until I am satisfied with the measurement. And I also cut the exact shape for the back part. Now I'm gonna assemble the parts of the skirt. Make sure that the right side of both fabric are facing together, then proceed to pinning and sewing. To lock the raw edge, I used zigzag stitch and hem it again using straight stitch. Next, I will make the ruffles. Using the excess fabric from the skirt earlier, I will cut 8cm from this side going to the other side. And same goes to the back part. Since the bottom side of this fabric is already well done, I will just straight stitch this upper side so I can gather it. And make sure not to use back stitching because we're going to pull this out later after sewing permanently with the skirt. After sewing, I look for the thread where I can pull and I start gathering until I'm at the same length as the bottom part of the skirt. Take note that the fabric for the ruffle should be longer than the bottom part of the skirt so that there is enough fabric to be gathered. After gathering the fabric, I will go on and put the two ruffles together, then pin and hem. Now 
now it's time to attach the skirt and the ruffle together. So first, make sure that the skirt is on the right side, then the ruffle is on its wrong side. Then attach both the raw edges together by pinning and hemming following the same stitching process earlier. Moving on the waistline of the skirt, I will adjust the back part so that it would perfectly fit on my waist. So I make sure to fit it first and mark all the dartings. Then finalize all the markings and sew it. For the waistband, I will be using the tie from the apron because it has the perfect width that I wanted for it. So the only thing that I need to do is seam rip the same part of the tie. And for the front waistband, I'm gonna measure the same length from the waistline of the skirt and add a seam allowance before cutting it. After combining the two fabric strips together, I will sandwich it on the waistline of the skirt making sure both side seams are aligned. Then proceed to pinning and hemming using straight stitch. Now I'm ready to attach the secret zipper at the back of the skirt. After hemming it, that will be the time where I'm gonna seam rip the seam on the zipper part.
For the last step, I'm gonna trim and hem the edge of the waistband at the back and hand sew the hook and the eye. And we're done with the DIY ruffled skirt. Let us work on the top. As usual, it is always important to fit first and do all the markings before hemming. I want to keep the original design for the neckline because I found it super cute. As you can see, I need to change the button, so I changed it with nude color to give a highlight on it. Then I go on trimming, pinning, and hemming the sides. Anyway, make sure that the top has enough space when you wear it. I also let the arm hold as it is because I don't have enough fabric to construct it and I need to use extra fabric for the ruffles too. Since the neckline has a navy blue lining and it just happened that I have extra navy blue fabric from my last DIY mask before, so I will use it as the ruffle for the top and I think it's perfect to highlight the waist. For the ruffle, I'll be using 86 by 10 centimeters of fabric, then I will double fold and hem the bottom side. Afterwards, just follow the same process in making the ruffle and the way how I attach it on the skirt as what I did earlier. For the final step, I will attach a garter at the back measuring 24 cm. I will put it on the waist side to make it perfectly fit on my waist. Upon sewing, make sure you are stretching the garter, reaching side by side. And that's it, we're finally done! I really love this matching set. I found it classy and sassy. I can also wear it pairing with other top or bottom or wear it with over layer shirt. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe. So see you on my next video. Bye!